Hello, my name is Tarek, and in this brief tutorial, I'm going to be providing you with a walkthrough of the workflow for creating a custom puppet for use in Adobe Character Animator. Now, those of you who are not familiar with Adobe Character Animator, it's a fairly new app uh, which was introduced by Adobe first in 2015. It came bundled with After Effects originally, and now it is a standalone app in the Adobe Creative Cloud. And it is a really amazing app that allows you to create custom puppets using face capture, using multi-track recording. Uh, in fact, the puppet that you're looking at on your screen right now was created in Adobe character animator using the workflow that I'm going to describe to you. Now, what do you need for uh, this workflow? Uh, you're going to need Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe Character Animator. All of these apps come bundled in the Adobe Creative Cloud suite. Uh, just a quick disclaimer before I start on the actual tutorial. Uh, in this brief video, I am only going to do an overview of the workflow. There's a lot of detailed work that goes into creating a custom puppet, as you will see in this video. I will not be going into these details in this video. All right, so without further ado, let's take a look at how this is done. Now, the first app that we will go into in order to complete our workflow for creating a custom puppet is Adobe Illustrator. Now, parts of this tutorial are going to look a little bit like uh, the cooking show where the host is pulling things out of the oven that have already been baked. Uh, that's because I've already set up everything and I want to show you how the setup has been completed because once again, this is more about the workflow than it is about creating the puppet. All right, so in Illustrator, uh, we have our character already set up. The character that I was going to create was Tamerlane. Mm -hmm. And I started with this recreation of Tamerlane's face. This was my background. And in Illustrator, I was going to trace the face of Tamerlane using the Illustrator tools. Now you can see the first group is the head, where we have the face, the ears, the beard, and the helmet. The second group is the mouth, and the mouth actually has a lot of different layers in it for all the different behaviors of the mouth that will be lip synced in Adobe Character Animator. We have the left eye, which has the eyeball and the pupil, and the right eye, which also has an eyeball and a pupil. Now I'm going to zoom into the layers panel and uh, toggle some of these on and off so you can see how they've been set up in separate layers. So I'm going to toggle the visibility for the left ear, the right ear, the face, the beard, and so on and so forth. I don't want to go through the whole thing because it'll take too much time and I think you get the idea. Next, I'll do the same thing for the mouth. As you can see, like I told you, the mouth has a lot of different shapes. And for each one of the shapes, there are two layers. L, for example, has two layers. Now that's the mouth, the outside of the mouth, the lips, and the inside. And once again, I'm going to toggle them on and off. First, I'm going to toggle the visibility on the neutral mouth off. And we'll step through some of the uh, letters that are here. Starting with L, these are the lips, and this is the open mouth. Now, Character Animator will read that mouth as the shape to use whenever the character says L. I'll show you one more, which is F. So once again, the lips and the mouth. And as you can see, I have a number of these set up over here. Each one of these is there for a reason. And if you are setting up your own custom character, your own custom puppet, you will need to recreate all of these and you can do more as well. For example, you can set up a smile and a frown and things like that, which I haven't done in this case. Next, I'll show you the left eye, the eyeball and the pupil. I'll toggle the visibility off and on, on each one of those. 
and the same is true for the right eye as well. Lastly, I'm going to zoom into the layers panel so you can take a look. I will turn the mouth back to the neutral shape and I will zoom in so you can take a look at all the layers that are in the mouth group. You can take a look at all the layers that are in the left eye and all the layers that are in the right eye. And lastly, all the layers that are in the head. Now, some of the layers that are in the head shape will actually need to be broken up further. For example, the eyebrows. Okay, now that we've completed our setup in Adobe Illustrator, we're going to move to Photoshop. And in Photoshop, once again, everything has already been set up. I just want to show you how the layers have been set up. As you can see, we have the Tamerlane group, and under Tamerlane, we have the head and the body. Now, I've toggled the visibility off for these layers, and I will turn them on so you can take a look. Under head, we have frontal, and the naming of these layers and groups is extremely important because depending on how you name them in show Photoshop, uh, Adobe Character will read them in the same way once you import it and they get tagged as a certain part of the body or a certain behavior. I'm gonna open up the frontal. As you can see, there's the face, there's a group for mouth. All the layers that were in Illustrator have been recreated here, but where there were two layers before, there's now only one. So I have merged the neutral mouth shape, the lips and the mouth into one. The same goes for the left eye and the right eye. And we also have a group here called the body. Now, I didn't show you this part when we were in Illustrator uh, because I wanted to focus more on the face, but the body basically contains a suit of armor that I've put in the background. This is actually um, a, um, a shape that I got uh, basically from the internet. I didn't create it myself. And uh, that is Tamerlane's body. Once again, I'm going to zoom in so you can take a look at the layers and how they work in here. We've got the nose group, we've got the left eye, we've got the right eye, and we've got the mouth. And all of these groups and layers have to be created exactly the way they are over here. And once again, for the mouth, you can actually add additional layers, such as a smile and a frown, and import those into Character Animator. Now, once you have your character set up in Photoshop, just save it, go into Character Animator. We're already in a new scene, and what we're going to do is, under the File menu, we're going to Import. Our character is in the Tamerlane folder. We're going to import the PSD file. It's importing the artwork right now. There's your character in the left panel right there. I'm going to double-click on that character when you double click on it, it automatically opens it up in the rig view. Now on the left panel here, you can see that all the layers that I had created in Photoshop have been recreated in Character Animator. There's Tamerlane, head, frontal. I'm going to open up frontal. There's the left eyebrow, right eyebrow, and the mouth layer, which has all these shapes for the different behaviors of the mouth. And there you go, you can do some custom animation here, uh, uh, customization of your character here if you like. Um, but uh, if you've set things up right in Photoshop, then the character should import exactly the way you want it to look in Character Animator. So that was my brief tutorial of how to set up a character, a custom character or a custom puppet in Character Animator using Illustrator and Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed it.